Hello! <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Welcome to Monday. It is officially fall semester. Technically it started last week, but it started on Thursday and so most of the week was just like meetings and preparing for everything and then it was just my online classes that started on Thursday. Today my Zoom class or the class that I have to teach on Zoom starts today. So yeah, a little nervous. Of course I woke up to an email saying there had been a glitch with Zoom earlier today, so I'm really hoping, they, then there was an email that said it was better, so I'm really hoping that it is completely fixed by now and it won't be a problem. I'm going to test it out in about eight minutes because I've got office hours today and then at 3.05, well I'll log on a little bit before 3 o'clock um, or like about 3 o'clock, um, at 3 my Zoom class <laughs> starts. So I need to lesson plan. I need to actually do that first. I'll do that during office hours, then I'll go back to discussion boards. I'm normally better prepared for the first day but I'm also not usually teaching on Zoom. I'm trying not to overthink it and I'm trying not to get too nervous. So overall today's off to a good start. I'm tired, but that's not new. Um, <laughs> it's not new at all. So I am tired. I've got my decaf coffee. I'm trying not to switch to the caffeine. If I can avoid it, I'd rather stick with my decaf because that's what my body likes better. But yeah, I've just got lots of, lots of stuff. I've already posted a bunch of announcements and I've gone through my email. I've already been working for a while, for a few hours. So I feel like it's just because it's the unknown. It's not a normal first day of class. So that's making me a bit anxious, but like, it'll be fine. I will get through it. There are pluses. I don't have to drive to campus. I don't have to deal with parking on campus. Win-win. I'm wearing jeans at the moment, but if I get tired of wearing jeans, I could change into yoga bottoms. No one will know. I have my kitchen right back here, so during the two 10-minute breaks during the Zoom class, I can go make a cup of tea. I can get more water. Like, there are there are pluses and bonuses to this, and to me, probably the best bonus of all, and the one that I will definitely, like, it just, it's going to be the most noticeable difference. When class is done at 5.50 p.m., I'm already home. <laughs> Normally I teach until about 5.45, 5.50, depending on the class. And then I've got to walk back to my car in the parking garage, and then I've got to drive through campus traffic and then drive up the freeway back to my home and so it usually takes me from concluding class to walking through from like leaving my classroom door to walking in my apartment door like door to door is about an hour and that's if there's that's if traffic is okay um because that's still kind of tail end of rush hour traffic so like i'm right here <laughs> I have a feeling by the end of the semester, or by the end of this, the A session one, that I'm teaching this class in, I'll have gotten used to the whole Zoom thing, and I'm not going to want to go back into the classroom, because being home is just going to be probably almost a little too nice. So I'm trying to focus on the, the bonuses, but yeah, I am just a little, little bit nervous. Just hoping that my students will have a good attitude and will kind of go with the flow, but yeah, I'm... I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous, but it is now less than a minute to my office hours, so I need to get logged into Zoom, and I will check in with you guys later. <laughs> Okay, Zoom class number one is done. It's gonna take some getting used to. It it was weird. That's just the only way I can describe it. Only two of my students had their cameras turned on, which 
we're not allowed to require them to and I wouldn't require them anyway because not everyone like that's this isn't what anyone signed up for so I'm not going to force someone to show their background and not everyone can do the virtual backgrounds and like there's just all kinds of issues with requiring cameras on so they're not required to do that but I had hoped that at least a few more would. A couple of them turned their cameras on at the break and showed me their pets so there was a really cute doggy and a really cute cat that I got to see so that kind of made that was like that the highlight of the whole class period and then some people were at least willing to like turn their mics on to answer questions and they were really engaged in the chat and with the one poll that I did so I think I need to find a way to leverage the chat box and the polls because they do seem to be engaged in that so I'm gonna have to have a think about that for Wednesday I'm also hoping Wednesday will be a little bit more interactive because we're going to be doing draft reviews, so hopefully that will be a little bit more interactive and participatory. Whereas today, the first day is always the most awkward anyway because first day is always like going over the syllabus and introduction to the class and things like that. and then. Because this is a shortened, a shortened class, it's also introducing the first assignment. Like one of the kids at the end was like, I'm just impressed that you're able to talk for three hours straight. <laughs> like, well, it's a skill. I'm a good talker, thankfully. So as anyone who's watched this YouTube channel knows, but it was, it was good. It's just, it's hard when they don't have their cameras on and you can't really judge. And I don't think they really realize how much I'm paying attention like to the ones who do have their cameras on. Like I'm, I'm starving for any like facial expression or body like ex body language that I can kind of pick up feedback from. So I don't think they realize how hard it is when everyone has their cameras off to just be staring at a bunch of blank tiles with just their names. So I'm going to try to get them to also like use the reaction because like some of them were doing the thumbs up or hands clapping. So I think sometime on Wednesday I want to like have them like play around with features. Also I think I want to play around with the whiteboard and just find ways of getting them beat to be more interactive because this was, I won't lie, it was a bit brutal. It was a bit rough <laughs> just having so little feedback as the class was going. I'm just so used to having the classroom to look around and like see like who who's engaged, who's falling asleep. The thing is though is they were pretty they were doing pretty well in the chat and they did all participate in the one poll that I did. I don't think they're just like turning on Zoom and then taking a nap for three hours. So that was good to see and I did figure out how to save the chat. So I've tested that out. But now it is almost six o'clock so I'm gonna go get changed. I need to take my makeup off. I need to make dinner. I need to rest. I'm so done. I'm just, I'm exhausted now. That was, it doesn't feel like a lot sitting on Zoom for three hours but it's a lot and I'm, I'm kind of done now. So I'm gonna go relax for the rest of the evening and yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Tuesday. It's been a good day. It's it's been it's been a good day. I'm I'm declaring it. I've just been sitting here listening to Christmas music. Just decided I needed something to like calm me down and chill me out and Christmas music always does that. So, yeah, it's making me excited. Like Chris, Christmas itself is officially 4 months away. It's August 25th right now. So, 
the countdown is on. But yeah, so what have I done today? I've done a lot. Um, I've done a lot of teaching work, a lot of prep, endless amounts of discussion board posts, it feels like, just catching up on those. I still have more to do. I just, I reached a point where it's like, okay, I've done enough for today. I've been getting some emails from some of my students from last night and those have been making me feel good. I was just, I was feeling so uncertain yesterday, like feeling like I don't know that that went very well and like, cause I couldn't see anyone and you know, they seemed really engaged in the chat, but like, were they just bored out of their minds the whole time? Were they just rolling their eyes at everything I said? But I had a few emails today. They'd found their syllabus extra credit assignment. Um, and so they were emailing me that, but then they would also include like, thanks for a great class yesterday, or I had a really good time. You know, I was expecting to not enjoy this class, but it went really fast. You know, I thought the three hours was going to drag by, but it went really fast. So it seems like they liked it. <laughs> so that, that made me feel really good. So hopefully that is kind of representative of the general consensus and hopefully it did go better than I thought. That would be great. That would make me feel really good <laughs> to know that it, it, it went well and that they felt like it went well. I'm not dreading tomorrow, but I am just a little nervous and apprehensive about tomorrow. But today went well. I, I thought I was gonna really struggle all day because I just woke up feeling so out of it after yesterday. But after a kind of slow start, I just kind of got got into work and got through things. Hopefully tomorrow goes as well as I feel like today has gone. That would be ideal. <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. I I can already tell that Thursdays and Fridays are going to be rough. It's just I, I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm sure within a few weeks. Actually, I'm sure by the time <laughs> my A session class ends and I'm not teaching on Zoom six hours each week, that is when I will have finally adjusted to teaching for six hours on Zoom. Yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday. I did a tiny clip of like closing my blinds and finishing up at the desk yesterday because I just feel like I was so frantic during the day trying to get everything ready. And I was doing a lot of email and um, discussion board posts and just all kinds of stuff. And then I had office hours and then it was time to teach. By the end of yesterday, I was really feeling the new schedule and really, really tired. Um, but class went well. Class went really well and I was really happy. I felt better about class, but I was also, it's still exhausting. That class, I've taught this exact class on campus and it's, it's exhaust. It's just exhausting. It's exhausting to teach for three hours straight with just two 10 minute breaks because they're never true breaks for me because students will ask questions or someone will want to talk or someone will want to show me something. So it's never 10 minutes that I can just totally zone out. Although during the second 10 minute break, I did get up for just a couple minutes and do, did some yoga stretches out of out of view of the camera just because I was starting to get really kind of sore sitting here. So I've survived the first week and I'm not totally hating teaching on Zoom at the end of the first week. I'm actually kind of kind of looking forward to Monday. I'm sure there's going to be days where things don't go to plan and things don't work out, but for now it's going okay. So today I have therapy in about 15 minutes. I'm getting so tired of video calls, but it'll be fine. And then I just have a lot of work to do. And I also want to try to do some writing and I want to try to do some editing. So there's just, 
there's just a lot for today. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with some tasks before my call and then after that call, get to work because um, I've got a lot of work to do today. Sunday. I don't know where this week went. I mean, I do, but yeah, it, it went in a haze of teaching and yeah, I mean, I survived. My first two Zoom classes went okay. Um, the second one actually, I feel like went better than the first one. So that's always great. But yeah, it's, it's been a weird week. There, and it's all running together. I mean, there's been good news, there's been really bad news, and I, I just, I don't really know what to think. My brain is just all over the place right now. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to vlog today. I'm honestly just trying to kind of go through the motions. I've done some cleaning, I've done some vacuuming, I've um, changed the sheets on my bed. So, I lose track, but I think it was Friday night, yeah, Friday night I found out that my uncle had passed away, and I still, I know how I feel about it, I just feel unbelievably sad about it. I don't I don't want to go into too many details because it's it's family and it, it feels really personal without going into details um, it's just a really hard loss you know uncles are special um, at least in my family they've been and he especially and so it just there are some passings of certain family members that it just feels like a part of my past and a huge part of my childhood has died. It's like I've just since getting the news I've just been thinking about all of the happy times and all of the really good memories and my sister shared a picture on Facebook of, of she and I with him on a boat in the middle of some lake fishing. It's the one and only time I ever remember going fishing. Yeah, it's just hard. And it's already been a hard year and I just, I feel so bad for my cousin and her family because it's never the news that you want to get. Um, so... So yeah, just feeling a little sad, a lot sad this weekend. Um, I'm trying to distract myself. I'm trying to feel the feelings and 
enjoy the memories and cry over the memories and just trying to kind of ride those waves when they come but then I'm also trying to distract myself in between and read and clean and um, my living room oh you know talk about focusing on the the little things but Bo both my chair and my sofa are cleaned off I can sit on both of them my floor is cleaned up I was able to vacuum this is the best the apartment has looked in a while and it's not done but it's getting better so I'm probably going to make a snack and then go back to reading for a little while and then I need to make dinner tonight so that I need to make a big batch of something tonight so that I've got that for the rest of the week or at least so that I've got leftovers to eat on Monday and Wednesday because I teach until 550 so I need to be able to just like reheat something quickly and easily after I'm done teaching I don't know I'm just I'm in a really weird place you know I also yesterday announced the title of my second book um, which was great so you know that's been really nice if you missed the Instagram announcement the title of the second book is brave with you so we now have a brave start and brave with you and so I can now start calling it brave with you and not book two all the time so that's been exciting so so yeah this it's just been a really weird weekend because I found out about my uncle Friday night and then I was kind of up late Friday night texting with my sister we were talking about it and just trying to process things it's just one of those things it happens it sucks when it happens you don't ever want it to happen no one ever wants to lose a family member like I said I don't really I don't really know what to say either because I don't know what to say or because the things that I do know what to say just don't really feel right sharing publicly on the internet so but yeah if I if I seem a little down in the latter part of this vlog or in the next few vlogs that's probably why I don't want to end the vlog on a down note there have been good things this weekend I'm really trying to focus on the little things the little things that bring joy and happiness and that remind you that life isn't always crap so that's what I'm focusing on I'm gonna uh, go start importing some footage and get myself a snack, get myself a drink, get cozy, do some more reading, and then in a few hours I'll probably start cooking dinner. Might take advantage of having my couch cleaned off and eat dinner out in the living room for a change. Watch something on the big TV. I'm going to enjoy what is left of my Sunday and try to make it as chilled out and as relaxing as possible because that is what I need so I will show you what I get up to the rest of the day I hope you all have had a wonderful week yourselves say hi in the comments for those of you who've made it to the end of the video put cozy vibes so that's what I'm aiming for put cozy vibes in the comments for the like three of you who've probably made it this far and yeah let me know how you're doing in the comments that would be great and I will talk to you all soon in the next video and next week in the next weekly vlog thanks for watching this one bye bye <laughs>